So a fiber scan tells us if you have any fat in your liver or if you have any scarring or stiffness or cirrhosis starting. Most people think that cirrhosis is an alcoholic disease and it absolutely is not. Only 12% of the population that has cirrhosis are drinkers. 7% have hepatitis B, 11% have hepatitis C, 75% of cirrhosis is caused from fatty liver disease, 75%. It's usually poor diet. A lot of times um, diabetics, um, they're actually very known to have um, fatty liver disease, but unfortunately for them, 70% have no clue that they have it. Um, most of the time it's because they don't control their blood sugars and they just didn't know. Um, most people think that diabetics, it's from, when you don't control your blood sugars, it's, it will affect your kidneys, but it will also affect your liver as well. Well, unfortunately, with fatty liver disease, um, the liver can get pretty sick and not even really let you know it. But most people will have right upper quadrant pain. Um, they'll go to the physician for that. Um, sometimes they'll go to the physician that they're just not feeling well, they feel run down. If you're overweight, you're probably more unlikely that you do have fatty liver disease. But we do see people that are thin. It's called lean NASH. And they can be thin and they still have fatty livers. Um, and that's just poor genetics, not nothing that they can do about it. But for the most part, it's because we're overweight and we eat poorly. So this is how the test works. So this probe here is a sound wave and it looks like an ultrasound probe, but it's not. It doesn't actually visually show me the liver. It shows me blood flow going through the liver, but not the actual liver. So if you had a cyst or tumor, it would not show me that. So when they come in, I ask them their name and date of birth. Um, I ask them if you've not had anything to eat or drink in the last four hours, and most of them will say no. And then I tell them, you're just gonna lay down on the cart and then we'll go from there. And so then I get my information. I have them, you know, cross their, you know, their right ankle over their left. They lift their right arm above their head. So when the test starts, you'll feel a thumping sensation. So that thumping sensation is a sound wave and that sound wave is being shot through your liver. So if the liver's good and healthy, it just absorbs it, gives me back certain numbers. If the liver's not so good and healthy, it will bounce, measures the speed in which it bounces back and it gives us different numbers. And so those numbers will indicate one, is there fat? This 229 tells us if there's fat in your liver, 100 being no fat, 400's max, we would like you 225 or less. This 3.5 tells us if you have any scarring, stiffness, or cirrhosis, we would like that number seven or less. That number does go as high as 75. So that's zero to 75. So once we finish the test, I print it off, I'll take it back to my office, we'll send that information to the liver specialist. We, they will look at that information, they will get that information back to me, I will get that information to your primary doctor, they will reach out to you with those results. Those results can take up to two weeks to get that information. Now if it's from the liver specialist, that office will reach out to you. If it's from a gastroenterologist, they will reach out to you, not your family practice. It will be the doctor that ordered the test that will reach out to you. So this test is covered by the insurance. It's covered, it's covered by Medicare and Medicaid, um, and it's covered by most private insurance. Um, it is typically less than a couple hundred dollars to have the test done if you wanted to pay out of your pocket. So a doctor would do a fibro scan more than he would do a biopsy if he's looking for fat or if he's looking for scarring because it's less evasive for the patient. It's extremely quick. This is actually a hundred times more accurate than a liver biopsy. And you know, the patients are in and out of here. So a doctor would prescribe this because it's actually more accurate. Now, there are times we will do the fibro scan and the doctor still wants a liver biopsy and that does happen at times. Patients come in about once a year. Sometimes docs will send them every six months, but that's not typical. Um, it's usually a once a year, once every two years. Patients like to know for themselves if they've made huge changes, they've lost weight, um, they're feeling better. They want to know for themselves, does, did it work? Does my liver look better? And it's pretty remarkable actually. People come in with some pretty frightening numbers when they leave and make big changes, diet, you know, exercise. But for the most part, if you make those changes, they come back, we redo their scans and their scans look a lot better and some look, you know, somewhat better, but they do see improvement. And so for them, that makes them realize, oh yeah, what I'm doing actually works. But like I tell patients, it didn't happen overnight. You won't fix it overnight, but it can be fixed by changes. And I always tell them, make changes you can live with at first. 
and then go from there and see what, what it'll do. But the liver will fix itself. <music>